Let's draw the Lewis structure of sodium oxide, Na2O. Now, Na is a metal. It's here in the alkali metal group. I know hydrogen's a non-metal, but you just have to remember that. Anything to the left of the staircase is generally a metal. Sodium definitely is. Oxygen comes from the right of the periodic table. That means it's a non-metal. A metal plus a non-metal together form an ionic compound. That means that the Na will give up its electrons and oxygen will take those electrons away from it. Let's find out how that happens in detail. Na is in group one. It has one valence electron. So there's my Na, there's my dot for the one electron. Oxygen in group 16 brings six valence electrons with it. See how there's a six and 16? That's how I remember it. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Now, non-metals want a complete octet, as in eight valence electrons in their outer shell to be stable and happy. This oxygen only has six. It needs two more electrons to have that full octet. It can get one from this sodium atom, which will generously donate its to oxygen's cause, but oxygen still only has seven now. We're going to need another sodium atom with its valence electron to come in and give us our eighth. This is why the formula is Na2O. You need two Na's to bond with a single O. Let's draw that complete Lewis structure, though. That's what you came for. Oxygen now has a full eight electrons, and because that's two more than it brought with it, remember it brought six, we give it a minus two charge. Great. Now the Na's had one valence electron around it, and now it has none, so don't write any dots in there. One fewer electrons means it has a charge of plus one. I know it's weird that losing something gives you a positive charge, but you're losing a negative charge. Two negatives make a positive. And lastly, we're going to need to draw the second one in there, because after all, it required two sodiums to sacrifice their electrons to complete the octet on oxygen. This is your complete Lewis structure for sodium oxide. Some teachers are going to allow you to write two times Na, just so you don't have to write it out twice but you'll still have to write that oxygen with eight valence electrons here, and it's minus two charge. This is my preferred Lewis structure for sodium oxide. This one might be acceptable. Best of luck to you.